In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up custom circumstances. Before I explain what a circumstance is, I'd like to explain what an event is. Events are any material change to inventory. So whenever you add items, remove items, move them, apply serial numbers, any type of change that is significant is an event. Now events can have circumstances and circumstances are the set of facts that explain when, how, why, or in what manner an event happened. Typical circumstances are things like PO numbers, invoice numbers, customer name, vendor name, anything associated with an event. So let's go ahead and create some right now. We're going to click on the admin tab and click circumstance fields. The first one we'll create is PO number. We'll make this a text field. Provide some help text. And we'll make this available only on additions to inventory. So unlike attributes, we have this extra piece of information we need to provide. And this tells us when the field will appear. So if we're doing a move or a sale or other activities or events, we won't see the PO number field because it doesn't really apply. But when we're adding inventory, that's typically a time that we'd want to enter the PO number. So we're going to check that box and I'm going to click save. Next, we'll add another field called carrier. We'll make this a text field as well. And we'll make this available when we add, remove, or move items in inventory. And under advanced options, I'm going to select a drop down list so that we can pick from a limited group of carriers. And I'm going to paste that list in here and click Save. All right, the next field we'll create is invoice number. So, very much like PO number. Only now, we'll include this on removals. So a removal typically results from a sale. So that's when we would want to record the invoice number. I'll also add a field called customer name. Again, making that available only on a remove. And finally, I'm going to create a field called event note. This will also be a text field. But we're going to do a couple of uh, other settings as well. First of all, I'm going to apply this to every type of event. So this field will come up anytime we have an event. It's a very helpful field to have if anybody needs to note something unusual that occurred during the processing of an event. Also, under advanced options, we're going to make this an open field. And I'm going to um, use these two checkboxes down here. So this first one will make it a large field, which will give us a bigger field in which to enter data and also allow for more data. And I'm going to click this box called line attribute. And what that means is that this will appear um, as a line item field if we're doing in events in batch. So if we're doing more than one event at a time, which we will cover later, this will permit us to make individual notes for every line item that's included in the event. And I'm going to click Save. And now we'll come back to Inventory. And when I go to Add Inventory, we'll see that these fields are present. We have PO Number, Carrier, and Event Note. So when we do future events, we'll be able to record this information and that information can then be used later on during reports if you need to see everything that was purchased on a given PO number, everything that was carried by a certain carrier, etc. You'll be able to report on that because every single event that ever happens in Clearly Inventory is permanently recorded 
um, and can be reported on at any time by any data that you set up. So you may have your own circumstance fields. They're going to be different from this example, but hopefully using this tutorial, you'll be able to set up whatever fields you need and apply them correctly. Thanks for watching.